Just got zero and wondering how to do an invoice? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. A common question asked of our bookkeeping team is, I've just got this cloud accounting software, zero in this particular case, how do I invoice? Now that's an important question because it's probably one of the key jobs that we do as business owners is we like to get our invoices out and hopefully get paid on those invoices to keep the cash flowing and keep us in business. One of the key benefits of using cloud accounting is we can do this quicker, mainly because we can do this wherever there's an internet connection as I'm about to show you. Now before we delve into the video, if you you like this video be sure to click the subscribe button below to get notified whenever we release another one just like it so let's get into it so in this video I wanted to run you through really the basics of how you invoice inside Xero so if you've not seen Xero before this is the dashboard this is the place you'd normally come every day to see how your business is doing it's kind of the snapshot of where your business is at of all the important things like who owes you money who you owe money to the total cash comes in and out uh, what you've got in the bank and how many items you've got to tell zero what it all is and of course you can set this account watch list up to see what you're really interested in in terms of you might be watching your marketing or your advertising in this example so there are all these kind of things are possible and this dashboard you can edit to uh, there's a button down here edit dashboard and you can move it around to have all the important things on it that you want so for now we're going to look at invoicing so i've got access to this through my web browser so if you use google chrome or safari if you're on an apple device you'll go straight through to here so this is available whether you're on your phone tablet wherever you can do this and there is actually an app for your mobile that will also do this but i'm just going to show you the desktop version right now i think the majority of our clients still use the desktop version to do this but i think if you're like say a tradesman and you're on site then having the app can be quite useful just to ping away a quick invoice with something standard like let's say you got a call out charge or something like that on it's very very straightforward so normally what you do there's lots of ways of doing things in zero generally so the way i'm going to show you is just one way of doing it there's plenty more but you can click plus here and go to invoice and that's you doing an invoice and what it does is it's really simple it's just a box filling exercise so you can type in here i don't know what customers we've got on here but dimples warehouse is a particular client of this demo company you can fill in your due dates and where everything else when it's due uh, your invoice number automatically fills to the next one and we'll see in a minute you can actually stop it doing this INB thing if you don't want it there particularly uh, your reference so you could put call out in this case and there's normally a couple of types of branding so if you've got a couple of different I don't know brands that use different logos or you've got so for example if you wanted to print a hard copy you can have a different version that has no logos on it so you can print it directly onto headed paper and you can have an email one that has your logo included so we run our business off of zero and that's exactly what we have so quite often we'd have email template and print template in here yeah. You can choose if you're VAT registered, you can choose whether you want to put the prices including VAT and let it sort the VAT out or whether you can put it in without. So let's do an example here. These are pre-filled in items. So this one, they've already set this up to say golf balls, single white. And you can see it automatically fills the description with the price and everything else in here. So we're going to sell 10 golf balls for now. And you can see it shows £56 including VAT. So you've got £9.33 in here. So that's one way of doing it. Or you can show it exclusive of VAT and do it a different way. You can see now it's put the £56 in here and added VAT on top. So it just depends how you work. You know, if you normally sell something for £100, you might want it well on where well, I only have one of these because that'd be an expensive golf ball. But, you know, if it's for £100, you can see there, adds the £20. Or if you want to be inclusive, you can eat the VAT here and just charge the customer 100 So you've got a couple of options, but it's really quite useful for working out that in a quick manner. Now, we could talk about how to add items later, but let's just for now just say that if you haven't got an item on here, you can add, add an item straight from the menu. Or if you just want to change this, you can change this to whatever you, whatever you fancy and change the price and as you watch me do, and it points it to sales. You might have a load of different categories you want to track for sales purposes so you might have you know they've just got other revenue but you might have it in this case they might want it listed in terms of golf shop golf coaching etc and if you're not vat registered of course this won't show and you can track certain things so in this one they've got it set up as regions so they might want to be able to show how much profit have i made for all the branches in the north for example and it will and you can just bring up a profit and loss account which is the report that shows what you had in and what you had out 
based on just the regions in the north. So this is quite good. Um, it's been referred to in other software packages as class tracking, but it just gives you an idea that you can break down things more individually so you can have more custom reports. Finally, the other thing I wanted to show you in here is this, this prints out in a very standard way and it's all adjustable. And again, it might be a subject of another video, but in this advanced menu here under accounting, and again, there's multiple ways of finding this. You can look for your organizational settings and you can go in here up to invoice settings and you'll see all your different types of branding. So those, what I said to you about having a printed one and an email one, you can actually copy these and then edit them. And you can see that they've got different logos on their different branding. And you can also change fonts, all sorts. You know, some of the things you can edit in here as well. You can edit the words that are on the invoice and things like that. So it's all there and you can build all sorts of things on there. So there you go. That's just a really quick look at how to invoice in Xero and the basics. And as you can see, it's a really quick way of doing it, especially if you spend the time to set up all your preset bits and pieces in terms of actually say the golf balls in this case, where you're looking at having them all set up so that it fills out the description and the price. It really can speed your invoicing up. That's it for now. We'll see you on the next one.